the fastest way to fix a PlayStation 4 controller that will not connect or sync. See, it doesn't do anything. It just keeps blinking and won't connect to the PlayStation. The only way I have found that this will work, you cannot use a cell phone charging cable or anything like that to sync this controller back up. This one's synced. But this one will not sync. But the best way to do it is I went to Walmart and picked up another actual cable that is for the PlayStation 4. This is the name of it, of the package. And it's actually on the PlayStation 4 aisle with the controllers. It comes in a 10 foot section. But I try the uh, actual cell phone cables and it does not work. And most people are not gonna keep up with the cable that comes with their controller. They'll lose it over time. That's what I've done. That's why I use a cell phone cable to charge it. But once this problem happens, where it won't link up to the PlayStation 4. I'll let it keep blinging until it stops. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cord that I bought from, like I said, for Walmart that's actually for a PlayStation 4 controller. This paper is blue, which is kind of hard to see it at this minute. But I'm gonna come right over here. I know it just got dark, I'm sorry. I'll go back to the screen. But I'm going to plug it in. I play, it's kind of dark in this area where my PlayStation's at. But as you can see, the cord is plugged into it. I'm going to take this controller. Hold on just a minute. But like I said, there's my PlayStation. Here's the cord. It's like 10 feet long. And this is the controller that I was trying to get. To resync back up, you see the dust on it. For I don't even use it no more. And there's my other one, but I'm gonna take. It's all right, this guy. Let's see if I can hold. I know it keeps getting dark. Hold on just a minute. Sorry about this. One hand, it just sucks doing it one handed. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick. All right, it's plugged in. Yeah. Remember earlier, it's just charging. Yeah. Now I'm gonna cut it on. It pops up. But that is the easiest way to fix this controller. Once you lose sync with it, you have to actually have a PlayStation 4 controller cord. All right, I hope this video will help you guys. Any one of you that's having problems, because I have been looking on YouTube to resync the controller without spending $50 to buy a new controller. But while I was at Walmart today, I saw this on the, uh, the aisle with the PlayStation controllers. And this cord is made for the PlayStation 4, so it was very simple to reconnect the controller. Alrighty, thank you. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell for future notifications.